Hello, and welcome back to Stardew Valley, the five-year farm. Last time, we were playing some Junimo Kart. Today is the final day for this Junimo Kart endless mode score. I'm thinking about going and trying for that some more. Always love this place. Yeah. But we've got time till. <laughs> Spiceberry one. Okay, this is. That's not... Uh, I, got, I got excited. I got excited because I thought it was Ancient Fruit. I mean, it's still Iridium quality wine. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to sell that. Take care of my animals and stuff, because I've I, I I can't go in to the saloon till till noon, so there's no point in rushing over there. I'm not even drinking the uh, coffee or espresso. Eh, no, let's just drink a regular coffee. I can do that. Porky's almost maxed. Do the animals work the same way as people, where once they've reached their maximum friendship, you don't have to worry about it decaying? Ska's still got a ways to go. I don't actually know if that's how it works or not. Yeah, I picked up all the ancient seeds last time. Everything down here is still growing. What's the situation on all these crops up here? We've got... What is it? Nathaniel blueberries, Dylan blueberries... Dylan wheat, Dylan star fruit, and Dylan tomatoes. Quite the variety. And if uh, if you want a crop for uh, fall, there are plenty of slots open. Nobody's claimed any of the fall slots yet. So, something to consider for anyone interested. Eh. That's not the chest with animal stuff. There's the chest with animal stuff. And a lingcod. Just a lingcod just in here along with a crab. A couple of rarer fish. What does it take to make a cask? Bunch of wood. I don't got a bunch of wood. Oh, my speed boost already ran out. That's what I get for just using coffee and not the triple shot espresso. 
You know what? Why not? Oh, hey! What you selling? Wait, hold on. This might actually be relevant. I didn't think about this. She can sell fish from other seasons. Like the midnight carp that we need to catch in fall. And the rare seeds that I just want. Smuggle these goods out of the Gotaro Empire? <laughs> Why do you think they're so expensive? Don't gotta worry about that when fall rolls around. And you know what? Buy all your rare seeds, too. I know I'm supposed to be saving money. Because I'm supposed to be trying to make money, but... Don't look a gift cart in the mouth. I'm going to take a minute. Every tree is worth about one cask. Because it's 20 wood that I need. It's noon. Hello, Hat Mouse. Just passing through to chop down trees. Don't mind me. Taking a shortcut to town. Hi, Krobus. Bye, Krobus. Alright, Gus. You're not even here. That's okay. I'm here for your Junimo cart. This is all the scores from last time. Let's see how well I remember how to do this. No! I was hoping to get edge of my cart caught on that. <laughs> no. That was too far of a jump for sure, that one. Nah, not quite enough to get up there to the coin. Well, that was not great rock placement. All right. Maybe I should cheer myself up 
after a few runs of this with some Legend of the Prairie King, or Journey of the Prairie King. Oh yeah, and it's the, it's summer now, it's, um, the Journey, J Journey of the Prairie King, the movie, is in theaters. I was gonna take my, uh, my wife to go see it. Nope! Well, I'm to miss the cherry. I'm just gonna drop off. Uh, okay. We got this. We, we, we had a really good first opening run. But that run is not going to be the best run. Because this, there was a run that we just got all three fruit. We died in the process. We missed the cherry just now. Tried to under jump that so that I could reset after missing the cherry, and I accidentally did the jump correctly. Can I just accidentally do all of the jumps correctly and just get to the end? Get the. Ah, no, I missed the orange. Well, no fruit bonus. So, of course, this is going to be the run that I actually make it to the end, right? Yep! I didn't need the 5,000 score there. That was way too far. Where was I jumping? How many points is a coin worth? That's a fun question. spent a lot of that run just trying to look up at the score and try and figure out how much a coin's worth. Because I know a fruit's a thousand. Are coins fifty? They look like there's something around the fifty mark. Thirty to seventy. That Maybe they're like forty. Or thirty? Because you have to consider the scores just constantly going up as well. No! Oh, it's that ice! Alright. But we've, we've made it to the ice level twice, and we've only been doing this stream for, what, less than 15 minutes. So, I'd say we're doing better than we were last time. You know what, I'm just going to keep running this run. I don't need to restart just because I missed the cherry. Five thousand score bonus for the fruit bonus would have been real nice. It's fine. We've got another chance to get the fruit bonus. I need to just move my mouse out of the way. Let it not distract me. Full focus. Nope. I thought I I thought I died. Definitely failed to get that fruit.
My passive goal in all of this grinding of Junimo Kart is to get so good at Junimo Kart that every time that he gives me the option... Oh, I don't even know if it's repeatable. I just assume I just assume some of Mr. Key's quests are they have to be repeatable, right? I had to jump over it, otherwise I would have died. But it jumping over it also killed me. Um, no, my passive goal is to get so good at Junimo Kart that whenever this quest shows up as a repeatable Mr. Key quest in the Walnut Room, then I can just come to the arcade, knock it out in five minutes, and get a bunch of extra, um, extra points. Sometimes those things kill me, sometimes they don't, and I'm not 100% sure on the distinction between what does and doesn't kill me. I was hoping to get the orange. That's what I call a vertical climb. Good grief. Okay. Focus. This is just an infinite runner, like many of the others you played back in the days of old. Just because you haven't played one recently doesn't mean you can't do this one correctly. See, there we go. 15,000. Now I just need to do that two and a uh, third times. More. Well. That was just, that was just a bad setup. I got greedy, went for the coin. Should have ignored the coin, just focus on getting the fruits. And surviving. Getting coins is just extra. We don't need extra, we need to complete. See, there we go. And we had more than 5,000. This is the run. Why do you have to put the roadblock at the bottom of the... Ah. It was not, in fact, the run. But I blame that 90% on that roadblock placement. And 10% on my inability to have the skill to deal with that roadblock placement. Missed the grapes. Fruit bonus would have been nice. But it's fine. Because we basically got to... <sighs> I was going to say, we basically got to the ice level twice back to back, more or less. I don't... I think that that necessarily matters if I just... Jump off a cliff. <sighs> I 
That was close. Well, I lived, but I didn't get the orange. And then I shortchanged to jump. Look, at least this time, I put Arcade Madness as the title. So people know what they're getting into. As opposed to last time, where the whole last hour and a half was Junimo Kart. on where you're going, where you're landing. And only loosely where the fruit is. Whew. Whew. I almost just fell through the hole at the very end. Okay. Cherry. I was trying to avoid the ice messing up my jump, and I successfully avoided the ice speeding up my jump, but I also didn't jump far enough. there's someone watching this and judging my uh, inability to play through Junimo Kart. it was gonna launch me that far I was aiming for the closer of the two platforms after that one that I caught the edge of should have just aimed for getting past the whole section while I had the momentum of ice ice physics I think I think last uh, I think last Stardew stream, I made a comment that the ice level was uh, my favorite level. But sometimes, sometimes those ice physics and the placement of the ice makes me reconsider that uh, statement. Of course, when I say favorite level, I mean favorite level of the first four, because I've barely scratched the uh, surface on level 4 and I've only been to level 3 like four times I think I misjudged how much the ice was going to launch me It happens. Oh, that's... Nope. Okay. Another round! Ten thousand plus the fruit bonus of five thousand. We 
starting in with a cherry, right off the bat. I thought I'd be able to make it. Well, at this point, it's just me and the mayor are the only people on the high scoreboard. I thought I could drop down a little bit more safely than that. Jumped high enough to get the coin, not high enough to actually touch the track. The real question is, at what point do I throw in the towel on this run? Do I play Junimo Kart? until right at the end of the stream and then save all my stream progress by just going to bed so I only get w one day of stream progress off that or do I give up an hour into the stream to go do something else I mean, assuming I don't get the achievement completed. No! Oh, I undershot! I undershot! And I was doing so well that run. Felt really good about that. I did an extra hop I didn't need to because I was worried about running face first into that rock. That was just a mean setup. Okay. Nope. Not okay. Overshot by just a little bit. Okay. Bounce off the top of the rock. Go under that rock. Fall straight through the little hole. Okay, cherry. The game gives us some nice free coins. Past halfway mark, and I didn't mean to tap the button. Just trying to hold it. Okay. Cherry was not in a really reasonably gettable spot, which is very unfortunate. Oh, I actually remember now, my original plan for today's stream name was, uh, was gonna be something along the lines of Junimo Kart till I beat it or, or run out of time. Or something like that. 50,000 50, or bust. Oh, 
Oh, this feels good. This feels good. Now give me a give me a reasonable ice layout. Yep, immediately in with that. That's what I call a reasonable ice layout. Right to the end. Oh! I missed the cherry, but I did not die to bubbles. And that is the important thing. Oh, bubble saved me! Bubble saved me! The bubble giveth and the bubble taketh away! Nope, I missed the grape. That was such a good run though. I finally I got up to the to the whale with two fruit bonuses collected. Well, that was... That was interesting, not... Not the easiest... jump layout for ice. Okay. Get the grape, get to the end, get through the ice level. I always misjudge how far that particular loadout can get me. Okay. This is the one, unless that boulder is... Yeah, no, okay, that boulder was reasonably timed. Oh, this is some boulder! Can we have a layout that doesn't have a bunch of boulders, please? If I can see three different boulders on the screen at the same time, that's too many boulders. Immediately missed the cherry. <laughs> Fell in the tiny hole. Uh, well, I was doing, I was doing so well. Take the cheeky coin get. Missed the orange though. Still go for that grape, because it's even if I don't get the fruit bonus, the fruit just picking them up is worth a thousand points. I was just a smidge too far back. Cause as we learned last time, as long as I pass the horizontal point to trigger the arrow, doesn't matter if I'm on the track or if I'm falling down in front of the track. I still get to advance to the next level. I don't know what you wanted from me, game. You put a roadblock inside of a divot. And said, well, either you jump down into this roadblock, or you've jumped too early. Okay, halfway. 
Got our orange. Got our cherry. Gotten most of the coins, honestly. No! Didn't register my click! Because I caught the edge of the thing. Well, that's a nice, easy four coins. Then we get the grape, and then we get to the end. There we go. Onto the ice. What we got? Cherry right off the bat. We have the orange. Come on! Don't put a roadblock and an ice slope next to each other right at the edge of the platform. Would have been fine if I'd landed on the ice slope, but at the same time, just overshot it. Okay, fruit bonus collected. Here we go. Ice level twice in a row. That was just enough slippery from the ice. Should have focused on livability over over the grape because grapes don't matter and the fruit bonus doesn't matter if i can at least make progress there we go No cherry, but we lived through very rough. Oh, okay. I thought I landed on it. Clearly, I landed in front of it. It's fine. Didn't like that run anyway. Is the better run. Back to the ice. Nice cherry get. I short hopped it, but I short hopped it too short. There's a middle ground there between undershooting and overshooting. It's called playing the game correctly. Well, Good job, Roadblock. You've achieved your goal of making me fall off a cliff. Two.
All right, ice. We got the cherry. We're about halfway through. Got the orange. Ah! Come on! Sometimes that'll make the jump. Sometimes it won't. I, you know what, with, with this being just, just Junimo Kart, I wonder, <laughs> I wonder how well the VOD will do on YouTube, because I feel like there's very little that's happening. That's a good run. That's a lot of coins. That's over 10,000 before we even score the fruit bonus. I shouldn't have coined. Flew too close to the sun. A hubris. Oh, come on. I was far enough to the right. Fine, this is the better run anyway. Got all three fruit. Got to the end properly. Over 10,000. Ooh, just missed. Just missed the cherry. Also, that roadblock was placed in the most inconvenient spot that it physically could have been. That's where I needed to jump from. It's a tiny hole. I got the grape, but at what cost? There's no way for- there was literally, I think, no way for me to reasonably get that grape and not die to the boulder. There was just no reasonable way for me to not die to the boulder with that one. 
because I had to make that jump. And it was right at the spot where I was landing at the edge of the platform. Right when I got there. So it's like... Sometimes the layouts, I think, are impossible. It's not often. And there's definitely some amount of skill that can influence what feels possible and doesn't feel possible. But for sure, I feel like there's some layouts where stuff's just not possible. I prioritize surviving over the cherry. I didn't get the fruit bonus, so I survived. Survive. I prioritized surviving over the grape as well. Hey! No! 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 Oh, that was my fault entirely. Nothing about the layout there. I just jumped at a very bad time. That was such a good run and such a good layout to have on that fight. I call it a fight, but it's really more of a don't murder me with bubbles. managed to get away with getting that cherry that I shouldn't have gotten away with. We'll gladly take that, though. Fruit bonus on the ice level? 30,000 going into this fight? I don't care about fruit bonus, just live! Yes! 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 I, I missed the orange. I missed the orange, but I lived. What?! Those things are kill me?! You know what? For the second time I think I've ever seen that level, I... I learned something new. I learned some new information. Hang on, just curiosity. Got a new high score. Got a new high score. 10,000 short. New high score. New information. We are getting in the swing of things. Let's go. This is going to be awkward. Oh, man. If I just managed to pull that off. That would have been another fruit bonus. Double run. Although... I almost got back to the whale twice in a row, which 
tells me I'm definitely getting better at this game. Which I should hope so after... What, we're on the 50 minute mark of this stream, we did like an hour and a half last stream, so like after two and a half hours, I should hope that I'm improving. Because if I wasn't improving after two and a half hours, there'd be no point in continuing. Thirty K going into the whale bubbles. No <sighs> bubbles. Hang on. Shifting positions. Okay. Just careful, dodge the rocks. I feel like there wasn't a whole lot I could have done against that last rock. This time, though, we got all the fruit. Managed to sneak under that rock somehow. Oh! Uh, little, little hops. I didn't hop small enough. Really had to play chicken with that boulder. Ah! Thought I could catch the edge. Okay. Cherry. And then orange. And... Well, I didn't die to the roadblock, but I basically died to the roadblock. Okay, there's all the fruit, and we just get to the exit, and we exit. Could I have done with getting more coins? Yes. I wanted the cherry so bad. I shouldn't... If I'm on the ice level, I need to just focus on not dying. I don't need the cherry. Oh, I would have liked that orange, though. Really liked that orange. Man. I could, could be at 10,000 right now. But I'm not. Or 15,000, rather. Because 1,000 from picking up the orange and 5,000 from the fruit bonus. That's what really hurts. If you miss out one fruit, that's 6,000 score. Oh, that was a, that was the kind of loadout that I need to actually go far. I can't bunny hop across going down and bunny hop across going up. Not a lot of coins, weirdly. But also not a very complicated layout, so I can't complain. What was that? What was that? Was that my hand? Was that my eyes? What read that wrong? Something read that wrong. That was entirely on me. I was so disoriented by it, I missed the cherry at the beginning of the level. And now I'm going to get like 6,000 short of the score I need and be very sad. Mmm, nope. 
Didn't like that. Thanks, Grape. Now I have to actually, like, for sure finish level four in its entirety. Even if I got the fruit bonus here. Which I see is very unlikely. No, it's actually impossible. Oh, come on! I got the top of that bubble! That's what I get for trying to make use of the bubbles. Nope. That was... nope. Okay. Focus. Gonna get... Fruit bonus. Maybe pick up a few coins. Make sure to dodge the rocks. There we go. And we got to the end of that one. Next up, the ice. Gonna get the fruit bonus. That was... That would, that would have been fine if it wasn't for the roadblock at the bottom of the ice. Didn't notice it till I was going down the ice already. I need to do better map reading. Ahead. So I can pre-prep for dodging obstacles. It's like playing hidden on Osu. I need to read the layout ahead of time so that I can make sure that I don't put myself in a situation where I am just going to die. Yes! Okay. Fruit bonus. 30,000 going into the whale. Oh, okay. Surprised they did not die there! Okay. Take a sip of my tea. Stay calm. Stay collected. Focus in. Keep breathing. That's the key. Ah! <laughs> Focused on getting the grape. <laughs> I was so focused on whether or not I could, I didn't ever stop to think if I should. We're basically at the one hour mark on Junimo. Uh, that was just roadblock at the end of a platform that I needed to jump off of. Not a whole lot I can do when that happens. Honestly, thought that I fell off right after picking up the grape. So I will gladly take that I got past that level. We're halfway through. 
the ice. Got two fruits. We need the grape. We need the end. There's the grape. There's the end. Okay. Survive the whale. Your mission. No! Yeah! Bubbles! I'm gonna take a second. Well, we got I got the rare seeds in the midnight carp, so that's something. And we actually did better today than we did for all the runs last week. So that's something else. I feel like I'm more consistently getting past level one. Whether that's actually the case or just a placebo, I'm making myself believe. too far. Just a little. Okay. Bad run, bad run. This is the one. That was <laughs> not the one. That was, in fact, uh, another run where I just ignored all logic of where I should go, where I should land, and said, Ah, there's a coin. Let's get that. That felt nice. And we get to the end of the fruit bonus. Cherry. Let's get the orange. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <sighs> ah, but there was the grape right after it. That would have been a really nice fruit bonus. Kind of wanted that. I mean, I will gladly take a... That was such an easy layout! And I flubbed it at the end! Ugh! Look, okay. Ugh. Oh, right at the edge. Okay. Focus. Got them all. We got to the end. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, 30,000 going into the whale. No! No! Bubbles! The bubbles bounced me to my death!
starting to develop a vendetta against whales. I don't need the cherry. I just need to get to that whale, and then get past that whale, and then actually get some practice on level four. Okay, whale time. There wasn't a whole lot I could do there! Basically, I have to survive three attacks from the whale. I was about to say this is the one, but I'm not going to curse this run. That was a good level one. Sweet, simple, straightforward, nothing too spectacular. That was nice! Oh, thank you! Little, little iffy on the ending, but the, the whole level construction was a lot nicer than a lot of the other levels that this game has thrown at me. Oh, 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 oh. No! Oh! Oh! We were so close! And we actually made good use of the bubbles! And now I just overshot. Oh! I was dead as soon as I landed on that lower platform. Done! Fifteen thousand. Should have ignored the cherry. Should have ignored the cherry. good i think that's if not the most certainly like close to the highest amount i've ever had going into level two
Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful level two. Now, whale, can you be nice? Can, have you considered being nice? You might like it. Oh, that was nice. Thank you, whale. No, 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 no. You were nice. The stage layout was less so. Uh, I'm so fixated on the bubbles that I'm not paying attention to where the platforms are. Or more accurately, where they aren't. Okay. And we're through. Level two. Ice. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. We made that. Made it work. And we even got we got the orange too. Yes! 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 Okay. Whale time. First bubbles crossed. Second bubbles. No! Ah! I messed up the timing! I, I could have lived that! If I had just gotten the timing right on the bubble jump! Ah! Uh. Got so close. I had two fruit bonuses, almost three, because I almost got the fruit bonus on the whale stage. I, sometimes I wish there was just a way for me to test play through the later stages so that I could even just like because I'm getting really good I think at the first stage not like flawlessly good but because I have to play through this first stage every single time I'm at least getting way more practice on it than anything else. But it would be nice to be able to practice the whale or even the stage after the whale so that if I get past the whale and I've got like 40,000 points, I don't have to basically go in blind on the last stage. Because that's not ideal. Okay, I know it's not the last, last stage, but... It's pretty much guaranteed to be the last stage that I need to do if I actually get some fruit bonuses going. Because even just getting past this level is going to add 10,000 to my score. If I don't just fall straight down a hole... Of course I jumped over the grape. I, di I didn't want the fruit bonus. I just want to get to the last stage. Or the fourth stage, more precisely. Yeah, ice straight to ice. Thank you.
Getting most of the coins. Got all three fruits. It didn't register the click. So I nicked the edge of the platform for too short of amount of time. Interesting. Grape past the finish line. Did I miss the cherry? Yes. Do I particularly mind? Not as long as I can make it past this stage and go for another shot at the whale. Oh, okay. I jumped way too early on that one. I was trying to avoid the ice. Nope. Didn't, ca didn't catch on the edge of the platform there. Good grief. That needed some tight platforming to get up to where the cherry was. Okay. Okay, that's gotta be the, the highest score I've had going into level two. 1,500, two, or, or 15, 15,200. It's a lot less hopping than, uh... No, come on! You put a roadblock! Right before the edge again! Stop doing that! Okay, okay, I made that. Okay. We did it. Over 30,000 before the whale starts. It's spewing its bubbles. Jump between the bubbles. Oh, I was trying to get the cherry! I need to ignore, I, you know what, I get to the whale again, I ignore the fruit, just focus on platforming, and bubbles. Didn't get to the to the whale, got to the ice. And then I didn't ignore the fruit. Because I need the fruit bonuses. If I don't get at least two fruit bonuses, I can't basically guarantee. Score completion by the end of stage four. Got one fruit bonus.
two fruit bonuses. Not quite 30,000 going into this whale, but we're close to it. Mm. I had to jump off the bubble. I thought I could jump off the bubble to another bubble. It's fine. We got a simple layout for level one. Wasn't simple enough. Still died. Um. No, I just immediately. That was a lot of ups and downs. I wonder if there's an achievement for the other mode. All this practice on Endless. Gotta go towards something. No fruit bonus. No fruit bonus here either because of the layout made the cherry an absolute pain to try and get. So I just didn't. So of course, this is probably gonna be the run where I actually get past the whale. Since I missed both fruit bonuses, and thus missed out on 10,000 score, no, 12,000 score I could have had otherwise. Nope. Because there was a uh, bubble that wanted to be right where the cherry was. Okay, so we got the fruit. Get the fruit bonus on the first level. That's pretty straightforward. Now, ice. Got the cherry. Got the orange. Now we just need a simple grape. And a nice and easy end. That's exactly what I wanted! Thank you! Okay. Oh, okay. Thought I, I thought I overjumped that for a second. Cut the fruit bonus on the whale? I got the fruit bonus on the whale! 45,000. Don't you dare, Sparky. 46,000. Focus, focus, focus! No! No! 47,000! Oh. I was so close. I even got a cherry. Yes! 
just needed to get to the end because there's that 5,000 bonus for just reaching the end. And the three fruit bonuses meant didn't matter what I picked up in the way of fruit or coins on that last level, just making it to the end would have been enough! Okay, well, no fruit bonus here because I missed the cherry. But I did make it to the whale again. No! Ah. It's the, are the physics on that level a little more floaty than they are on the earlier two levels? I'm probably probably are because I'm underwater or at least it looks like I'm underwater hence whale no 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 <sighs> okay take a second sip of tea Let's do this. Yes! Got it! Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter that I fell. I mean, that one matters that I fell. Too focused on the cherry. Sometimes you just gotta ignore the fruit bonus. It's going to cost you the run. work like the bubbles where if I perfectly time the jump as I'm landing on it I can actually launch myself my hopes are to not get a layout where I have to test whether that is the case or not I got hopeful that I had the right angle when I landed on a coin, but I was just short. That wasn't... That was a bad layout. This is a better one. Or at least a better intro to the level. Can I just get, like, one real nice, simple layout? Nothing complicated, not many boulders. Yeah, this is not the- this is not the layout. Launch yourself to the moon just to get the cherry, but then you can't recover to actually make the jump you need. Should have been practicing in my off time. If I 
had, maybe, we would have managed it. But I didn't. And so here we are. Trying. Absolute hardest. Oh, good. Made it. Woo! Safe! Safe! 30,000. Well, well, well. I didn't, I didn't need the fruit bonus. Who wants that? I mean, I guess if I get it, I get it. So I'll take the fruit bonus. We're almost halfway. Bubbles! They lifted me up just enough to prevent me from making contact with the rail! Uh, that's, no, that was just the timing on the rock. I was very close to a failure, but we made it. 15,000. And there is another fruit bonus. Going in 30,000 in the whale. Don't care about getting the cherry or the orange or the grape. I just care about surviving. No! Ah, I thought I got the jump off on the second bubble. I wasn't expecting to have to jump so quickly. I hope people don't mind, like, an entire stream VOD of just Junimo Kart. Endless. Because I really want those galaxy souls. Which means I have to try and at least do something of the Mr. Key quests. And this, on the surface, felt like the simplest one of all the ones he was offering. 
I don't have the supplies to make hundreds of coffees or triple shot espressos or whatever. And I certainly don't have the staircases or the means to get that many staircases to get to floor 100 without the ability to consume food. What other, what other quests did he have? I can't even remember what other quests he's offered besides that. This feels like the most doable, and I got so close! Ah! Oh, ice! I needed to jump at the top of that second ice ramp. Grape, and across. Okay. Starting off strong, nice, simple, easy cherry. Orange. And we're going to get this grape. I should have gone down some of the ice! I just didn't want to mess up that jump, so I messed up that jump. So I jumped too early. Get out of here. There's the grape. And there's the out of here. Sweet, short, simple level. Too complex. Here's the grape. And there's the out of here. 30,000 going into the whale. No! I needed the short hop. I did the long hop. Not paying attention to where I was going. Okay, I didn't like that 
I didn't, you know what, I didn't like that one either. I'm gonna comment that I didn't like that last one because there were too many boulders. And then I immediately got blindsided by a boulder right at the beginning of level one. I only half noticed that there was a track on that low section because it was on the bottom of the screen. I, I couldn't have jumped sooner because there was the rock, but I couldn't do anything from that height. That was just a bad layout. Have good timing, Rock. Thank you. It's my fault for missing the uh, edge of the platform on the way down. But at least the rock didn't get in my way. Alright, where's the grape? Here we are. We got it, and we got out. With a coin on the way out. This is not going to be nice. Ugh. Starting off right. I just, I, I didn't even try and jump because I thought for sure that that boulder was going to be perfectly timed to just smash my head in. It was perfectly timed not to. Okay, here's, here it is. This, we're not just jumping off a cliff, this one. N not intentionally, anyway. Got two fruits. There's the grape. There's the exit. Sneak a coin on the way out. Start off with a cherry. Hoo, 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 hoo. Keep getting the edges of the platform, but that's fine as long as we get those edges and get to the end. 30,000 going into the whale. Again. Don't care. I lived. Through the first bubbles. Second bubbles. I smashed my face right into a bubble. Excellent. Just what I wanted. To redo the first stage. I like it when the orange and grape basically spawn next to each other because the orange spawns as far forward as it can and the grape spawns like as far back as it can. a nice level oh that means I'm gonna have a no I'm gonna have a decent no I okay 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 
Hang on. Yeah, just keep falling to your death. That's fine. Focus myself a little bit. Swap, swap my T over. I've decided this stream is just going to be Junimo Kart till I beat it, or till like another half hour goes by without me beating it. Maybe another 15 minutes, because I might use the last half hour to... Or the last, like, 10, 15 minutes to try and go back and make sure I've got everything I need. Done. Or maybe I could go around and chop some wood. That's something I could do. That was... What was that start? Ice cliff down into roadblock, ice block, roadblock, and the edge of a cliff. That was just a non starter. It's, show me a look. Send me, send me the best Junimo Kart player. And then show me them do that. Not the not the ice level that I was just doing, but the ice level for before that. With that start. Cause that was a nonsense start. I didn't I didn't want the cherry. It's fine. Cause I'm gonna do so good on stage four. Not to mention stage two and three. I won't need the fruit bonus. Okay, no, I do want the cherry. I didn't think that I got the edge of my wheels caught on the top part, but I guess I did. Hmm, good coins. <laughs> Bad coin! Bad! died in pursuit of a coin. Sometimes I do that and I get catch my wheels on the edge of the platform. Sometimes I do that 
and the wheels don't catch on the edge of the platform. Pull me up. It's such a precise... Placement. Requirement. Narrow hitbox. Journey of the Prairie King. Would this be easier to do with a controller? Absolutely. Twin stick shooters generally are. Guy spawned on me. Not my fault. And that restarted the round one. Hiding in your spawn point so I can't kill you? Very rude. I will take a nuke. Ooh, I would rather. I would rather that. I, that was that was on me for walking backwards into an enemy. Hey, who needs to aim when you can do this? Yeah, no, that was not ideal. Just kept giving me coffee mugs. I'd like something that could shoot better, please. Sure, I'll take an extra life. Nah. Not feeling it. Endless mode. 47,220. 47,000. I just needed a moment. Short breather. Away from this arcade game. So I could come back in. Full force. Full focus for one or two more last rounds. 
before I just call it here. Onto the ice. No! I meant to jump before touching the ice ramp. Take me back to the ice. Demand another go. Such a good layout, too. Another ice. <clears throat> Sorry, I was too focused. On getting the fruit bonus. Didn't consider where the grape was gonna land me. Now we just get to the end. I need to go up, but there was a roadblock up! And the boulder was in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Or the right spot at the right time, depending. I mean, I'm sure the boulder's job was to get me killed, and it succeeded in that. Orange, snag that. And across. Thought I could make that jump. Now I'm just failing at the ice. That was not friendly boulder placement. Okay. Back to level two. We had the fruit bonus. Off to a good start. Have a cherry. Halfway through. That was not. No. Ugh. These roadblocks. I think I would rather fight the whale on every single level than have to deal with these roadblocks. Just deciding that they want to exist at the worst possible spots.
Okay. Back to the ice. Does Daily Luck affect Junimo Kart? Endless? Because I'm wondering. If I were to leave here and come back at some other point on like a good luck day. That's what it was. That's how you do. That's how you do those ramps. Gotta hop down them. We learned useful information in the panic jumping of attempting to get a cherry. Did we die before we made it to the whale stage again? Yes. But at least we learned something. I would have liked to have gotten the cherry, but... It's fine. Still got the orange! And the grapes in a reasonable spot. I spoke too soon. The grape was in an unreasonable spot. Didn't think about the uh, speed up from the <sighs> ice. Okay. Get into the ice level. And now we focus. Cherry. Here's the orange in the middle of this. Of course it is. Okay, orange. Did I missed the cherry. It's fine. It's not like this is going to be the run that I get to level 4. that with the momentum. It's okay. No, it's not okay! The last hole! The very last hole! Double boulder, right at the end. Too focused on not getting hit by the boulder and I just fell off the board. coins I 
I will take it. Fifteen. Just need fifty. Here's the cherry. I absolutely missed the orange and then jumped off a cliff. That was impressively bad skill. Okay. Got past the ice. This is probably going to be the last run. I jumped over the grape! I jumped over the grape! If I come within 6,000 of the score, I'm gonna be very sad. I was not... I mean, I got up to the whale. Do I want to... Throw in the towel on that one? too soon. It's getting late. This is literally just going to be one day of doing infinite Junimo cart. Forget Sturdy Valley, this is Junimo cart Valley. I didn't... I didn't... <sighs> My wheel caught on the edge of the platform and I didn't want it to and then it pulled me straight up into a bubble. Oh. Let's try to jump under that railing. Let's go cook whatever I need to cook with the midnight carp. It's Gus's birthday. Happy birthday, Gus. Cooking. Squid, salmon. Seven hearts with and flounder. Can I even do it? Do I have flounder?
I have half of a plot of rare seeds. second. All, the, all these are gold star. When all of them finish, we're going to fill this whole thing with ancient fruit wine. All at once. There is a flounder in here. It's the seafoam pudding. Put that in my pantry. So for cooking, all we have left is salmon dinner, fried calamari, and whatever this is. Which is seven hearts with Leo. Which currently we are at, what, four? Five! And Leo's birthday is later this month. So we are in good shape for that. Hey Lily, how you doing? Checking out our little Christmas room? Tasks. There we go. <laughs> Ready to call it a night pretty soon? Yeah, same. Same, Abigail. Grab these in here to just chuck straight into the bin. Honestly, I should put one of the mini shipping bins in there to just toss mushrooms into.
Okay. Oh, hey. Yeah, she's just curled up over there. By the red cabbages. Sturgeon pond. Still existing. Let's head, let's head to bed early. It's not terribly early, it's still 8.50. Hey, hey, you know what? Uh, that, that cheers me up a little. I forgot that I had a bunch of iridium wine. It's spice berry, so it's not worth a ton, but... Still eight thousand. Eight thousand is eight thousand. So that's at least something nice to end off on. Well, that is going to be the stream for today. Uh, as I said in the earlier stream, I am going to try and do some uh, more. Uh, the name of that game critter cove i'm gonna try and do some more critter cove uh some at some point later this week don't know when yet we'll figure that out uh next time we're not gonna be spending time doing all the arcade machine stuff i so close i was so close but we've moved on, past the day, don't have that quest anymore, we'll see what quests Mr. Key is offering next time, and consider our options. Um, but until then, take care, and have a good rest of your day.